way, deep south, out of space, dirty south, ballin', small batch creativity, time to show them, original art, dope shit that you gon' like, American South bringing their creative life, yeah. Alright y'all, thanks for tuning back in. Um, in this episode, I'm gonna show you how to get this thing ready to be primed, how to prime the body, and then also how to give it the first base coat. Um, we're getting really close to being able to paint this thing. All right, let's do this. All right, the sanding. We're gonna use 220 grit sandpaper and 350 grit sandpaper. Um, I sanded this really well. After putting on the neck and everything, it just needed a nice, you know, smooth coat to start the priming. Um, as you can see, where I messed up on the glued neck and everything, I was able to fill it in and sand it so it's level to the neck. Boy. All right, time to prime. We're gonna use some wire to hang it, a primer, and a mask. All right, we're gonna prime this body. It's gonna be all gray. I went ahead and primed the top because I'm gonna need somewhere to hang this thing when I paint the whole body. Boom. All right, the stuff I'm gonna <laughs> use to prime, gray primer. Pretty simple. So I put a little felt in the hole to protect the wood, drilled in the wire, hung the guitar up. This little wire rig, I think is gonna work well. All right, y'all, for this spraying thing, you just wanna do even, nice coats. You wanna overlap just a little, and you don't wanna get it on too thick. You can always add more on the next round of coats. Um, I made sure to get all in the little horns, all in the corners, and use the pickup cavities to be able to hold it and move the guitar around on the wire. Um, it went pretty well, pretty awesome. So it's sexy, the wood is fully coated, Primer's covering everything, and it's got a nice, even coat. So, uh... This part is done. Now we're gonna wet sand the primed guitar. What we're gonna need for this is sandpaper. I used a high grain 600 grit and water. I've never wet sanded anything before, but I see the point of it. Um, you really get a smooth finish when you're using this high grit and wet sand in the primer. It gives you a good base to start the painting. All right, I wet sanded this and it went awesome. It really makes it feel smooth. After I primed it, it was really kind of rough, but oh, water. But now we're gonna paint it. This is where it gets interesting. <laughs> It's spray painting time. All right, so it's been sanded, primed, wet sanded, which makes it feel awesome. And now we're gonna paint this. We're gonna paint this a base color. I'm gonna go nuts on painting this and I'm gonna add to it later and probably I'm, I'm making it up as I go. So I grabbed some spray paint that I have at least a couple colors of. And this is gonna be weird, I'm gonna fade it's kind of off-white with this yellow, I'm not sure. And uh, I may come in with brighter colors. I really don't know. So I'm gonna get my son who is freaking awesome to help me paint this. All right, I'm gonna start with Easter yellow. I'm just gonna spray it how I do a spray paint wall. And uh, we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna do it on the back, so if I mess up. a fat cap that might not be a good idea I'm just gonna put a first coat on here because this stuff is a little thick and then I'm gonna fade another color coming from the top All 
right, so this base coat turned out awesome. I was able to kind of fade in this uh, off-white with this kind of off-white yellow. Kind of, want, I wanted it to look uh, worn and aged varnish to start. Um, now I get to paint this thing. Uh, the fun part is here. Hey, deep south, out of space, dirty south, brawling, small batch creativity. Time to show them original art, dope shit.